This is another example of using logical laws to simplify a logical expression. The logical expression that we are going to simplify is the following. Q or not quantity, not P and Q, where both Q and P are logical statements. So we want to use logical laws to simplify this quantity. So let's start with it, and let's do our first simplification. The first thing that we're going to do, the clue here, and the, the thing that you'll, you'll get used to doing, is anytime you see a not in front of a parentheses term, the, the, basically the thing to do there is to apply to Morgan's to distribute that not. So we're going to apply to Morgan's, and after we apply that, we know what to do. We have to distribute the not, so not p turns into not not p. The and symbol that I had originally, we know that we need to flip that to an or, and then I need to distribute the not to the q term as well. So after applying to Morgan's, we have this. The next thing that we should do, which is obvious after you get a little practice with this, is to use the double negation law. The double negation law says that not not p is equivalent to p. So this is just equal to q or quantity p or not q. Okay, so we apply the double negation law. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the commutative property. This just says that I can change the order of things in between my or. So instead of doing q or quantity, I'm going to do the quantity or with q. So I'm just flip-flopping them around. I'm moving them around. That is, by definition, the commutative property. Now I'm going to use the associative property. I have essentially here p or with not q or with q, so I can associate those differently. So I'm going to, instead of doing the quantity p or not q and then oring that quantity with q, I'm going to do p or with the quantity not q or q. So all I've done really is shifted the parentheses and associated a different group of things first. This is by definition the associative property. If you watch the last example, you now know what we're going to do. When we look at this, we see that the statement not q or q is a tautology. This is something that is always true. No matter whether q is true or q is false, the logical expression not q or q is always true. So what we have here is p ORed with a tautology, which by the tautology law that we have simplifies to a tautology. P or true is always true, no matter what P is. So this thing that we started with, this logical expression, actually simplifies to a tautology. It is always true. And we can easily check that by constructing a truth table for our original logical expression. So the two P parts of the logical expression are the variable logical statements P and Q. So we start with P and Q on the left and we fill it in starting with all false and going with all true. And then I just make a column for each part of the logical expression. So since I have a not P here, I make a column for it. And I fill that in just by taking the not of the first column. And then I can now construct this part, not P and Q, by just taking the and of these two columns. So I can easily fill that in. So I get F, T, F, F. Now I can construct a column for this just by taking the not of this column. So anywhere I have an F, it will turn to a true. And anywhere I have a true, it will turn to an F. So that's that column. And then finally, I can fill in the truth table for my overall logical expression by just taking the or of the Q column with this column. So once I do that, we see what's gonna happen. In each row, for these columns that I've circled, there's always a true element. So when I or true is something, I always get true. So when I fill this in, I'm going to get true, 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 which does indeed confirm that this original logical expression is a tautology. It is true all the time. So that confirms that the steps that we did here, applying to Morgan's, applying the double negation law, applying the commutative law, the associative law, the tautology law, all those steps we did were legitimate because we've been able to check our work with this truth table.